winning this first round of the war. But what do you say to that? We say is that light comes through the dark, penetrates the dark. ملأت بغداد بظلام فستواجه الضياء الذي في صدور الشعب العراقي then the American administration will face the light that exists that fills the Breasts of the Iraqi people. But as regards your question, which is that the people of the Iraqi people are saying that they are going to take the first round of the war. So we will take the first round of the war because the people of the Iraqi people are saying that they are not going to الكلام الذي سمعه قبل عشرة أيام أو دعش يوم من الآن. As to what you stated, which with regard to the statements being made by American experts or commanders saying that the American administration is winning this first round, then we should leave this to the American people themselves, because and the American people will not have forgotten what was being said only ten days ago. Then the trajectory of the people of America and the freedom of the people of the world. So let us leave the assessment of that to the people of the United States and to the free peoples of the world. Sir, you fought Iran, uh, Iraq. The, the Iran-Iraq war lasted eight long years. I have been told by people who have been here and who live here that in all that time, uh, your country was not affected as badly as it is now. The power is down. Uh, water supplies are scarce. Uh, so how would you relate what is happening now to your years fighting the Iran-Iraq war, sir. The most important thing is that our people now لم يكن بمستوى طهارة النفس الذي هو عليها الآن في كل حياته السابقة. Our people now has never been as has never been as pure in its soul as it is now in throughout its history. And our armed forces بمثل هذا التصميم في تاريخ تشكيل وفي كل الظروف الصعبة اللي مرت عليها أو تعاملت معها I have been hearing broadcasts that quite large numbers of Iraqi planes have gone to Iranian Fields, could you shed some light on the reason? Irrespective of the figures or numbers which you've heard and the figures which we know. The important thing is that Iraq and Iran are two neighboring Muslim countries. And regardless of the circumstances of the past, these facts uh, shall remain the most important in the relationship between the two countries. وبما أن المعركة الآن بين الإيمان وبين الكفر. and since the battle now is a battle between faith and infidelity. بين الحق وبين الباب. and between truth and falsehood. بين الخيانة وبين الأمانة. between treason and between treason. And faith, commitment, 
بين العدل والإنصاف وبين الإجحاف والتسلط والعدوان فلا تتوقعوا أن هناك بلد إسلامي واحد هو ليس معنا في مثل هذه المعركة وأمر طبيعي أنه إلى بعض طائرات العراق وجدت نفسها أنها في حالة اضطرار لتهبط في هذا البلد الإسلامي أو ذاك فإنها تفعل هذا بموجب هذه الروحية وبهذه ال... وبموجب هذه الصورة في كل الأحوال نحن نحترم قوانين وإرادة دولة The American multinational bombing of its oil tankers created the leak. But the United States says that Iraq officials turned the pipes on in Kuwait and let the oil flow uninterruptedly into the Gulf. Did that actually happen? أمريكا ضربت عدد من ناقلات النفط المحملة بالنفط هذا حقائق والإعلام الغربي لم ينكر هذه الحقائق. The facts that cannot be denied, the facts that have not been denied by Western media, are that there were Iraqi tankers loaded with crude oil and they were attacked and sunk by the American forces. وكون أمريكا لم تنكر هذا فإنها كانت تعرف بأن هذه الناقلات محملة بالبترول And the fact that uh, the United States has not denied that they have attacked these tankers and that they knew these tankers were loaded with oil وإلى جانب هذه أن أمريكا ضربت بعض المنشآت البترولية in, أيضا هي حقائق وأيضا أمريكا لم تنكر fact, in addition to this fact there is the other fact which is that the United States armed forces have attacked uh, oil installations which they themselves have not denied having done إذا فإن الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية ليست حريصة so, على عدم تسرب البترول في هذا المكان أو ذاك. So this shows that the United States is not really keen not to see oil and oil spill uh, go uh, go uh, into this place or that place in in the actual place. سواء في البر. Whether on land. أو أو سواء في البحر. Or at sea. وسواء كانت الآثار السلبية على البيئة في البحر أو على في الأماكن الأخرى. Regardless of the negative impact that this may have on the environment, whether it is at sea or in other places. And when the United States takes such action, the United States takes this action uh, un- uh, uh, without being forced to do it. أي لا تقوم لا تستطيع أن تدع الإدارة الأمريكية أنها تقوم بهذا ضمن إطار الاضطرار وضمن حالة حق الدفاع الشرعي عن النفس الملجئة إلى ذلك. In other words, the United States cannot claim that it is 
taking these actions uh, 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 of necessity or within the framework of legitimate self defense which they have uh, to the, they, the, which, to which they are forced لذلك اذا ما تصرف القاده الميدانيين so if the field commanders were to conduct themselves العسكريين the military commanders في استخدام ماده البترول ومن واجبات حق الدفاع الشرعي عن النفس والدفاع عن البلد if military commanders were to use oil in a manner that comes within the framework of legitimate self defense and legitimate defense of the country to which they belong في هذا المكان او ذاك in this particular place or in another كان بصيغه الخنادق التي تملا بالزيت وتشعل be it in the form of trenches filled with oil and then burnt او بصيغه اخرى or in any other form فان عضوهم معهم then such commanders will have a justification for taking such action. The decision by your government to use prisoners of war pilots as human shields and strategic installations, this was announced last week. Has that actually happened and will it continue? What was announced was announced by an official authority. ولكن هل ما زال هنالك من في الغرب من يتحدث عن الاخلاق والقانون؟ But are there still people in the West who can talk about morality and law؟ خذوا هذا المثال الذي ساقوله لكم. Take this example we have. تذكر كم حصل من من حجم اعلام على الاجانب الذي منعهم العراق لكي يمنع قيام الحرب. Do you remember the great propaganda who had that was made over the issue of the foreigners who were prevented from travel by Iraq in an attempt to prevent the outbreak of war? أتذكر ما ماذا كان يقال عن قرارنا ذاك؟ Do you remember what was being said about our decision at that time? It was being described as being immoral, illegal, unlawful, inhuman. وكان الغرب يتحدث عن انسانيته ويتباهى بعض الحكام الغربيين مثل هذا الادعاء تجاه الناس الذين لم يكونوا قد اكتشفوهم بما فيه الكفايه people who hadn't yet discovered their true nature as they have now. Do you, do you remember this? أتعرف ماذا يعملون الآن القربين نفسهم الذين كانوا ينتقدون قراراتنا تلك؟ Do you know what these Western officials themselves are doing now? Those officials who were criticizing our decisions at the time. أتعرف بأنهم يحجزون العراقيين حتى الطلاب. Do you know that they are keeping as prisoners exactly. exactly. in their countries, even students who they are uh, keeping them as prisoners uh, in a manner that they public that they, that they make public themselves. أتعرف التحديثات التي وضعت على الأمريكان اللي من أصل عربي وعلى العراقيين اللي على الغربيين اللي متجنسين جنسيات غربيه اللي من اصل عربي وعراقي. Do you know the kind of restrictions that are being imposed on the Western nationals of Arab or Iraqi origins in, in the United States, uh, Americans that is, Iraqi. In the, in, the West, in the West as a whole. عدد من العرب اللي من جنسيات عربيه سابقه تجنسوا بالجنسيه الغربيه ومع ذلك بعد الحرب 
وضعت عليهم تحديدات قاسية خلافا لقوانين بلدانهم. The Arabs that have gone to Western countries and resided there for some time and have acquired citizenship or nationality of those particular Western countries now are facing the kind of restrictions as as a result of this. بما في ذلك في بلدك أمريكا. That of course includes the United States. أليس هذه الزواجية؟ Isn't this double standards? Military experts and uh, others in, in the U.S. military command and others in the multinational forces are saying that they can probably destroy your ground forces in Kuwait with bombardment, with aerial bombing, and may not need to invade, or if they do invade, they just can mop up the remainder of your troops there. It, 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 just a little more to, that if, if indeed uh, you can, if indeed this is not the case, how can they survive this massive bombing that the multinational force can bring to bear? Do you remember what the uh, woman Homer Rice Bush, American, uh, what the Western leaders, including President Bush, were again were saying? كانوا يقولون بأنهم سوف يدخلون الحرب من غير أن ينجرح أمريكا. They were saying that they would enter this war without and uh, any without a single American getting wounded. هل تحقق هذا؟ بعدنا الآن بعدنا في بداية الأمر. Has this been the case? بعد الحرب في بداية. We're only at the very outset. عشرة عشرة أيام. Only ten days. مو عشرة أيام؟ لا 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 هل حقيقة إنه لم يزور أمريكا واحد؟ Is it true that no Americans have been wounded? فكيف لو بدأت الحرب؟ في إطار الشمولي. So what would happen if war were to expand or to begin taking its more comprehensive form? إذا على الذين أخطأوا التقدير في هذه الحرب. So those who made the wrong assessment with regard to this war. وحدهم أن يواجهوا الجواب على تسائل الشعوب والرأي العام. Answer the questions being raised by their people, by the peoples of the world, and by public opinion. أما الرجال في الكويت. But as for our men in Kuwait. فالذي يهجم عليهم سوف ينهزم. Then whoever attacks them. Should be defeated. The subject to show who is going to attack and who is going to not attack. In order, he is the devil with men, and Allah with men. In order to decide who will lose and who will win, is based on who has the devil on his side and who has God on his side. What would you say to governments and people around the world today who are seeking? A peaceful solution to this crisis. Mother, there no hope left. هذا السؤال كان يوجه إلى بوش منكم أنتم الأمريكيين. This is a question that should be posed to Bush that should be put to Bush himself from you, American, the American people. Bush تخذ من الحوار تكتيك. Bush used dialogue as a tactic. أنتم تعرفون بأننا نحن الذين طرحنا الحوار. You remember, you remember that we, it was we who suggested or proposed. وكان يرفض. and he rejected our proposal. ثم طلع على التلفزيون فجأة. and then all of a sudden. يقول إنه يريد الحوار. to say that he was calling for dialogue. واكتشفنا فورا. and we discovered immediately. بأنه قد قرر الحرب. that he had decided to launch war, to wage war. وحديثه الجديد عن الحوار ما هو إلا غطاء ليقول للذين يقولون له بأنه أنك لم تستنفذ طريق الحوار بأنه قد تحاور ولم يهتدي إلى نتيجة ولم يبقى أمامه إلا الحرب وهذا الذي كان مثل ما أعلنا تماما. We discovered at that moment once he decided once he declared he was proposing dialogue we decided we discovered that he had opted to wage war because what he was trying to do was to 
the Jewish dialogue in order to uh, silence all the parties that were telling him that he hadn't as yet exhausted all the possibilities that may spare us war and then once he has done that then he would be able to launch war. And this is exactly what happened and this is exactly what we had expected. <laughs> We have unconventional weapons at the battlefront, it is reported. Chemical weapons. Will you use chemical weapons in a land war in Kuwait? نحن سنستخدم الأسلحة التي تكافئ الأسلحة التي يستخدمها عدونا علينا. We shall use the weapons that will be equitable to the weapons used against us by our enemy. وأعتقد إنه أنت الآن جربتونا انه كل الكلام اللي سبق ان قلناه الان طبقنا and i think we have we have shown to you by now how true we are to our word we have you've tried us we have implemented every word we have said but the multinational forces have said they would not use chemical weapons against you does that mean that if they don't use them you don't use them أنا قلت بأننا سنستخدم الأسلحة التي تكافئ الأسلحة التي تستخدم جدا وفي كل الأحوال لن نعطى العراق أنا ما قلت بالكويت that shall be equitable to the weapons used against us. But in any case, under, and, and, under any circumstance, we shall never relinquish Iraq. You mean Kuwait? Relinquish? I'm talking about Iraq, from Zaho in the north to the sea in the south. All of Iraq. Been uh, launching missile attacks against Israel, and uh, are you disappointed that Israel has not responded with its own forces and thereby got into the actually got involved in this war? All the force that is now being used against Baghdad, that is now attacking Baghdad, is Israel. شنو مصلحتك انت الامريكي تهجم على بغداد لو مو الصهيونيه التي لعبت في اروقه البيت الابيض اللي دفعت جيشك الى مثل هذا الموضوع. What interest would you as an American have to come to attack Baghdad had it unless it is the Zionist influence that has played its role in the corridors of the US administration and led to this attack being, uh, to this aggression being waged. لماذا تتخذ أمريكا قرار منع الأكل عن العراقيين قبل أحداث آب خمسة أشهر لو لا صهيوني وعداء أهل العراق take a decision to prevent food from being given to the people of Iraq five months before the uh, 2nd of August, unless the enemies of Iraq and unless Zionism has a role in that part. This is a part of the Zionist but the Zionist will This war, this war that is being waged against us, is a Zionist war. Only here, Zionism is fighting us through American blood, through your blood. وإذا كانت لا تستخدم الآن بعض أسلحتها. And if Zionism is not using now some of its weapons. فتريد أن تحتفظ بها. Then Zionists want to keep these weapons. لكي تصبح سيدة الموقف بعد أن تنتهي الحرب. In order to be to be master of the situation, in order to be to 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 be the dominant power. In the situ in, in in the area once the war has come to an end. أما الصهيونية تقاتلنا هي. لو لا الصهيونية لما جئتم مؤكد إلى لتحتلوا الكعبة وقبر الرسول محمد وتصطدموا بالمسلمين ككل وتعتدوا على بغداد. But Zionism is fighting us, and had it not been for the Zionist influence, you would not have come here to occupy the lands of our 
sanctities, the lands of the tomb of Muhammad, and the lands of the Muslim uh, of Muslims everywhere, and to commit this aggression against Iraq and against Baghdad. <laughs> we shall not be uh, deluded by appearances. Do you have chemical warheads for your Scud missiles, and is it conceivable? That you would put chemical uh, chemical weapons, would you fire on Israel or even on, say, targets, civilian targets in Saudi Arabia? Why? Why uh, do you find it difficult to call a spade a spade? <laughs> Why don't you call a spade a spade? Scott, Scott Rossi. Scott is, is a Madame Ethereum Savakir. It's a Soviet missile uh, which has a range of 270 kilometers. <laughs> but the missiles that we're talking about are Iraqi missiles and they are called Al Hussein missiles. I knew the name. of the missile <laughs> But I don't know if it has a chemical warhead and if you're prepared to use that Yet you have used only conventional explosives in your missiles so far. I said, we, sh- we use the weapons that will be equitable, that will meet the weapons used against us. All this air superiority that you see now has failed to take us away from the path of balanced combat that we have maintained. Which is, we've maintained our balance. We've used uh, the missile in, in its, with its conventional warheads. Could you see the occasion when you would use unconventional warheads in your missile? At what point? <laughs> we pray that not a, a lot of blood will be shed. From whatever party, from whatever nation. And we pray that we shall not be forced into taking a forced measure. Crisis, it's more than a crisis, it's a war now, is the mother of all battles. Every field commander in history has had doubts about the outcome of the battle ahead. Do you have any doubts whatsoever? Not even one in a million. You have invited me, CNN here, to talk with you tonight. What would you hope the impact of this interview will have on the United States and the world? I have said what I believe to be the truth. And I hope that you will tell the Americans that we wish them well. And we pray that none of their sons will die. That no other life shall be lost from their sons. وكل العراقيين ممتنين لكل الخيرين الأمريكان الذين يخرجون بمظاهرات في أمريكا ضد الحرب. And that all the people of Iraq are grateful to all the noble souls of the amongst the, the United States people who are coming out into the street demonstrating against this war. ولكل الخيرين من المواطنين الشرفاء في فرنسا. And في ألمانيا. To all the noble people. في In France, in Britain, in Germany, in Italy, in Italy, and everywhere. 
and in England demonstrating against this war. نحن نتابع بالتمام هذا المستوى الإنساني الرفيع. We follow with keen with keenness this sublime level of humanity. الذي يخرج مناقضا which comes out to the conflict. السياسة العدوانية التي تصمم في الدهاليز التي تدفع إليها الصهيونية المجرمة. Which comes out to counter the policies of aggression that are being planned and decided through the corridors of evil penetrated and and dominated by criminal Zionism. وسوف نبقى نفرق ولا نخلط بين القرار الشرير من الإدارات التي وقعت تحت تأثير الصهيونية وبين موقف الشعب. And we shall continue to view any evil decision taken by any government or administration in isolation from the spirit and from the feelings of the people of that particular country. ومثل ما نعاهد الله ونعاهد شعبنا. And in the same way as we وأبناء أمتنا. In the same way as we give a pledge to God and to our people, the people of our country and of our nation. نعاهد الخيرين في أمريكا وفي أوروبا وفي اليابان. We express our pledge. No. وفي الاتحاد السوفيتي وفي كل العالم. States in Japan and the Soviet Union, everywhere in the world. في البلدان التي تسمى بالمتقدمة وفي البلدان التي تسمى. In the world, in so-called advanced or developed countries, or in the so-called underdeveloped or third world countries, we give them our pledge that we shall never forget the noble souls, the noble people, and they will discover day after day. لأنهم على حق عندما يرفضون الظلم الذي يقع عليهم على شعبنا وعلى أمتنا. That is being waged and just here against the people. I am sorry, and I am pleased to have this interview with you. Thank 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 you. It also enabled CNN's Bernard Shaw to speak to Peter Arnett about his time with Saddam Hussein. From the interview was his uh, suggestion, his belief or his hope that people power, the uh, peoples around the world, that their, the momentum of their anti-war protests may develop to influence their governments. He dwelt a lot on that. And uh, I was interested, I, I was taken back to the days in uh, my coverage of the Vietnam War. I was in Hanoi in 1972. When uh, Vietnamese leaders there talk at length about people power in the United States influencing decisions of the U.S. government in those days. So Saddam Hussein has picked up on that particular aspect. He also has picked up on what is going on in Washington. He and his advisors clearly have been following the White House and Pentagon briefings. Bernie, I I've been uh, told to, we still have uh, audio here. I've been told to stop this particular interview because there's been a, uh, an air raid on Baghdad. There's been no air raid alarm, as usually we have these alerts, but at the moment we didn't have one. Bombs are falling on the edge of the city. I think if you, get, you can get that shot maybe of some uh, anti-aircraft fire going into the air, this is live coverage of the war from Baghdad. We've been talking about this on the phone for a couple of weeks now, but this is what we see every night going into the sky. There's not too much that uh, we hear the bomb blast. Maybe if I stop, maybe you will hear that. Well, we've heard a lot of bomb blasts, uh, and if they become more prominent, Peter, we'll be quiet and listen up. But right now, we want to get from you as much as we can since we have you up on the bird live. You're on the grounds of the Al Rashid Hotel. Are you standing? I see a grape arbor or some vines. Are you standing next to that, that shrouded catwalk that goes to the heliport? That is exactly it, Bernie. You remember it well. <laughs> 
Peter, uh, I know that you haven't had much sleep in the last 36 hours. And the CNN crew, and this is not self-serving, on the run from Amman to Baghdad, you had you you had equipment damage, and then Nick Robertson and your other assistants, Vito Mangiolo and the other people on the CNN staff, had to work through the night to assemble this half million dollar ground satellite station, and then the technicians had to search in the skies, twenty three thousand miles into the sky, to find that satellite, and that's been one of the frustrating problems on your end and on our end. CNN headquarters have received telephone calls from reporters and what have you. When are you going to show the Saddam interview? Well, I know you've gone through hell to get this picture out of there, and we applaud you for it. And and I want to ask you now, what what was, well, let's listen to what's going on now with the air raid sirens. Go ahead, Peter. We can hear yeah, the alarm, this is the air raid alert. They're very familiar here. There have been two earlier this evening, well, two in the last eight hours. This is uh, pretty much typical of an evening in Baghdad. And uh, we are just, uh, we listen to this inside the hotel on a regular basis. Uh, I can't talk too much about it because the officials are here. So if we can go on to some other subjects, I'll stop talking about the air raid now. Bernie. Okay. I know you're being asked not to talk about specifics, but based on my experience there, it's clear that the AAA, the anti-aircraft artillery fire we're watching now, is farther away from you than it was closer to the hotel when we were there in the opening hours of this war. Um, I wonder if you could ask me that question again, Bernie. Well, I was going to ask you about uh, Saddam Hussein's ear very close to what's happening here in Washington. For the last two days, there's been talk about whether or not the Allies have been targeting Saddam Hussein, and very vehemently from the White House, and especially from the Pentagon, the word was no, we don't target leaders. And I heard at the top of your report, you, you quoted President Saddam Hussein as, Hussein as saying that clearly the forces have proved they are looking for me. Well, I guess I probably meant to say they're looking for him in the sense that they're targeting Iraq as a target rather than Kuwait. They came to Baghdad. He suggested, he was smiling and saying they basically, in a conversation earlier, he was saying, while I'm here, uh, even though it was a sort of a remote place, and he was smiling, and uh, he did indicate, he suggested to me that all this emphasis on Baghdad, which you are hearing right now, this has been going on for, as I say, the 13th night of the war, uh, there's a lot of concentration here, and he was saying that uh, why isn't all this activity in Kuwait? Uh, isn't that where the war is about? Aren't they trying to push me out of Kuwait? Why are they spending so much time in the Baghdad area, Bernie? For the past few minutes, he's in our New York bureau, and there was a time in Mr. Moria's life when he was in the White House and the war was Vietnam. Bill, come in, please. Bernard, let me say to both you and Peter that as an American and as a fellow journalist, I've been very uh, proud of you and you too, and of John Holloman, you've been a great credit to our uh, craft, uh, staying there, keeping your eyes and ears opening and working under most difficult circumstances. Uh, and uh, I, I've heard so many of our fellows and sisters in this business uh, express those sentiments. And I'm sorry if it seems self-serving, but I wanted to, 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 to express my admiration to you. Well, thank you, Bill. Uh, it's appreciated. Peter? Yes, Bernie, I'm with you. What else can you tell us about this man whom you were taken to in the most circuitous of manners? Uh, in October, when we interviewed him, we were taken directly to a house and we waited. But you had to go on a midnight ride. I really can't tell you too much about it, Bernie. I've been asked not to mention the locale or really the circumstances under which we met. Uh, this is a man who is obviously concerned about his security. And they uh, asked me not to talk about the procedures that they followed in preparing me for the interview. The Palestinian search for a homeland. That was a link the Iraqi president tagged 